Good morning and welcome to the University United Methodist Church on this third week of Advent and welcome to the garden. Today I want to look at the Christmas tree that's behind us and all of its symbols but also of its lights. This seems to be a season of light. On Sunday when we look at the Advent wreath we're reminded that we lit the pink candle the angel's candle, the candle that proclaimed to all, don't be afraid, for born unto us is Christ the Lord, but also a candle that says, I bring you news of great joy for all people. That great joy is within us, but that single candle shines out so much, much like the light on the Christmas tree that's behind us. And understanding that light is what's difficult for us. John tells us in the first chapter, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He is with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that's been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We've seen his glory and the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and of truth. When we sit back and think about this season, we see it as a season of joy, much as the angels proclaim. We see it as a season of lights as well. We come into a time of looking for light within darkness. And our scripture says that Christ is the light of mankind, but the world hasn't understood it. We are saying that the light may scatter the darkness, but it doesn't offer the freedom, the healing that we actually seek and desire. When I say seek and desire, I've noticed this year as I've driven through the community that there are more Christmas lights up this year than I have seen in many years. And it's dawned on me that people in this year of darkness, this year of pandemic, this year of hopelessness, this year of death, they're looking to cover up the darkness. They're looking for a time and a place of joy within their own heart. And that's what we ourselves need to see within that third candle, the angel's candle, that tells us not to be afraid that we ourselves as God's people seek that light. But we also have to remember that unless we see Christ as the light, then this light won't overcome the darkness. We ourselves have to see that the reason we hang those lights on our houses the reason that we light a candle in the sanctuary, the reason that we try to light a candle of remembrance within our own soul is to cover up the darkness and the sadness that dwells there. Years ago, I had a youth choir that sang a cantata called the Candle Cane Christmas. And in that Candy Cane Christmas, one of the songs, which has always been my favorite and sung by two of my favorite youth was a song that said, let's light a candle, the whole world can see. That's what we need to be doing as Christians today. We're the bearer of that light. And when we put those lights on our houses, when we light the candles within our rooms, we have to be able to give witness to the world that we light it for the one who is truly the light of Christ. I think a song which we sing once in a while brings that even more to light today. It says, I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God sent the stars to give light to the world. The stars of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear the sun of righteousness, shine on my path, and show me the way to the Father in him. 
There is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. Let us look for that light. And when we hang all the lights on our houses and we light the trees that are around us, and if we still find emptiness, let us turn to the true light, the light of Christ in this season, a light that shines forth so brightly that the world doesn't understand it and the world can't overcome it because it's the light of God shining upon each of us. Let us pray. Gracious God, there is so much darkness in this world. And even though we come to the end of this year and we pray for a better year, we know, dear God, that this darkness will still be there. There's only one way to break the darkness and that's through the light of your son. We know that your son came in flesh that he may live among us and offer us salvation. But in this light that shines around us today, let us stop all the hassle, all the bustle. Let us give up the anger and the frustration and sit for a moment and think of those words. I want to be a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. May God bless you and have mercy on your day. And you may you find joy in all that you see and do this day. Go in peace. Amen.